Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to the series on this Ram 3500 pickup truck. So from the last time that we were here, we actually did a full deep cleaning. We cleaned all the bug guts from the front end. We give it an intense wash from the wheels, undercarriage, paint and more. And we also detailed everything like the chrome, all the tires, the trim, the wheels, the undercarriage, you name it. And now it's time for the last piece of the puzzle, which is the tonneau cover. So as you guys can see, this cover, it's extremely dirty. It has all kinds of embedded dirt grime, dust, and debris. So today we're gonna to show you guys how to clean, condition, and protect your tonneau cover to make it look brand new. All right guys, so first things first, I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm wearing an apron simply because we're gonna be leaning over the paint of this truck and I don't wanna scratch it up. And we actually have these beautiful microfiber aprons that allow you to safely do so. That way you don't scratch up your paint as you're working on your vehicle. Normally these are intended for polishing. So whenever you're doing like your roof or any kind of like things like your hood or your bed cover, if it's painted, you can have this on that way you don't scratch. In this case, we're just using that so we don't scratch the paint. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start pulling out our nonsense all-purpose cleaner and we're gonna be pairing it with a soft boar's hair bristle brush. Now, the reason we're using one of these soft horsehair bristle brushes is simply because we don't wanna damage the surface. Now, this right here is more of a vinyl material. If you do have a material like plastic, then you can go with the more aggressive brush if need be. But in this case, this brush is gonna be more than capable enough to extract all the embedded dirt and grime that's on here. Now, another thing I do wanna bring up is most of the time people think that, you know, simply by washing your car, that's gonna be enough to clean your tonneau cover. In some cases, if you maintain it properly, it should be fine. But in this case, the owner has not cleaned it in a while. So a lot of this dirt is embedded within the actual material. So that's when you need to go in there deep with a cleaning brush and an all-purpose cleaner like nonsense. And as you guys can see, it's already working out great. It's foaming up and you can actually see that the foam starts turning brown, even though the material, the background is black. You can definitely tell that that foam is a nasty grimy color. So that's how you know it's working very thoroughly. Now that you're done, simply grab the towel and then wipe away the excess of the nonsense all-purpose cleaner. And this right here should give you back your natural OEM look of your tonneau cover. Now, if your tonneau cover does have, you know, sun damage, it's faded, it's oxidized or anything like that, then we're gonna have to follow it up with conditioner. Don't worry, we'll get there. But for the first part, we have to clean the surface first. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cleaning the rest of the cover and then I'll be right back with you guys to show you guys how to properly restore it, protect it from those harsh UV rays. All right guys, now that the cover is clean, it's time to condition and protect it. And what better product than to use than our HydroShield vinyl, rubber, and plastic ceramic shine coating. Now, the reason I chose this product specifically is because this is a water ceramic based dressing that's gonna work out great for vinyl, rubber, and plastic interior and exterior surfaces. But the main reason that I'm using it is because it's ceramic based. So when it comes to exterior surfaces, ceramic is the way to go. So ceramic is gonna be the best in terms of durable protection against the elements. And that's exactly what we're looking for for this tonneau cover. This tonneau cover is being beat all day by the harsh UV rays, contaminants, water, you name it. Anything that lands on here is gonna etch if there is no protection. So that's why we're going with the product like HydroShield. And another reason I'm using this product specifically is that this product delivers a fully dry to the touch OEM finish. So it doesn't leave any kind of wet, greasy look or anything like that. It leaves a fully dry to the touch finish and it just maintains that beautiful brand new look. Now, even though this is clean and it looks great and it looks original, we can actually enhance it and just really add to the depth and just the darkness of this cover and really just overall protect it. So Hydro Shield, extremely easy to use. All you need is a microfiber applicator. Spray some directly onto your applicator and then you're simply just gonna start applying it. Now, one thing you may notice when you start applying it is that it does look shiny. Yes, that's gonna happen whenever you apply any kind of liquid onto something that's dry. Rocket science, right? 
So now we're just going to work it in. And the beauty about this product is that it seeps into the material. So in this case, this is more of a vinyl material. So this is just going to penetrate it and just really leave behind that nice, fresh, brand new look and nonetheless protect the surface. And if you ever feel like it does kind of start drying up on you, feel free to spray a little bit more. I mean, this is a pretty large surface, so you're gonna really wanna make sure that you coat everything very evenly, as you guys can see me doing right now. All right guys, so as you guys can see, without me even having to wipe off the excess residue with a microfiber towel, you can already tell that this looks a lot darker than this over here because like I said, this is designed to revive the OEM look and finish. And another thing, if I go ahead and feel it with my hands, like I said, one more time, I did not wipe this product off with the microfiber towel. As you guys can see, no oily or greasy residue on my gloves. And that's exactly how your cover should look like. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up coating the entire left side. And then we're gonna peel off the tape to show you guys what your tonic cover should look like versus what it does look like now. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we just finished peeling off the tape and just check out that difference. That left side that we did, it's beautiful, it's nice, it's restored and it has that rich OEM look and feel. The right side that we didn't treat yet, it still looks a little bit dull. Now, if you do like it like this, you can leave it like this, but I would highly recommend you apply protectant like HydroShield, at least to have that durable ceramic protection. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up doing the rest of the cover and we're gonna conclude the video right here. So if you guys enjoyed this series, or maybe you guys haven't seen this whole series, make sure to check out the playlist down below and you can check out the rest of the work that we've done on this beautiful Ram 3500 pickup truck. If you guys wanna pick up any of the products that we use in today's video, make sure to check them out in the link below in the pinned comment as well. We're gonna link out every single product that we use in today's video from the nonsense, to the brushes, the applicators, the towels, and last but not least, our Hydro Shield ceramic shine coating. So if you guys enjoyed this video, huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, comment your favorite product in this video. And as always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Dude, I'm like sweating over here, Jason.